Great morning, everyone, and welcome to the 112th commencement ceremony of Hope International University. Please silence all of your devices, and out of courtesy for the guests and the graduates, please uh, don't get in the aisles throughout the ceremony, okay? Thank you so much. And now, would you please stand for the processional?
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wonderful works and your steadfast love. May you bless every graduate as we celebrate this day. Let them breathe in the goodness of this moment. May they be filled with courage and hope for the future. May they always look to you and find goodness and mercy wherever they go. And may they remember that you are in all things in all people and share the fruit of their knowledge. To you be the glory and the majesty and the honor forever and ever. Amen. Well, I invite you guys to sing along. The lyrics are in your program. Stay standing as we sing of our God's faithfulness.
for joining with us. You guys can be seated. Please thank Matt Thompson with me. Matt, well done. Thank you for leading us. Well, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to welcome you officially to commencement for spring 2023. Welcome. Today is a really special day, and I think about this every time we approach commencement, that you don't get that many big moments in your life. You get the day that you were baptized. You get the day that you met that person. When your baby is born, when you're married, the day you graduate with your first or second, or in a couple of years, third degree. I hope that you guys soak this in. One of the challenges in a time of social media is to remember to be here, to be present. So let your family shoot all the video till the end when we do that totally spontaneous thing. Let your family shoot all the video uh, and you guys just soak it in. This is for you. Uh, family and friends have flown in from all over the place and driven in from, from far away places like Fresno and Bakersfield and the wilds of Rancho Cucamonga. But I know we have some people that have flown in, uh, in internationally. If you flew in from another country to be here, raise your hand high. Thank you for putting international in our title. Since 1928, Hope has existed to do one thing, to serve the church, to serve the church by preparing pastors and church leaders to make a difference in that most important change agent in society. And then to prepare servant leaders in other professions that are like a scaffolding around the church that assist and support and extend the work of the love of Jesus Christ. We are here to promote the kingdom of God and to train servant leaders. Now, some of our business folks are also going to make a lot of money, but our primary purpose is to help you to learn to be a servant leader. If you're here and you're getting ready to go to college, think about hope. Why? Hope lifts, hope sustains, hope draws us forward, hope helps us in times of weakness. Hope gives us light when there is darkness. Hope creates leaders in a time of division. Hope settles, calms, reassures, and moves us forward. Today we celebrate hope. We celebrate you. We are proud of you. Enjoy this moment. Congratulations. Soak it in. I invite everyone here to listen to this word from the Lord. 1 Peter 4, verses 10 to 11 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ, to him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Would you join me in prayer? Dear Father, thank you for being with us here today as we honor these graduates' achievements and celebrate their dreams. Thank you for these servant leaders. Thank you for the ways that their degrees will create new opportunities. Thank you for the ways that their education has shaped their character so they may use whatever gift they have received to serve others. May we be peacemakers and reconcilers. Thank you for how this community has connected us to each other, and thank you for those who have made lifelong friends. Thank you for the opportunity for these professors to come alongside, guide, and mentor these graduates during their educational journey. Thank you for their family and friends who loved and supported them. Thank you for the ways that you've sustained them. Thank you for the privilege to study both deep and wide, and may they persist with intellectual curiosity. Thank you for the exposure to new people, new ideas, and new opportunities. Thank you for the variety of experiences from this time at Hope, from playing sports to worshiping in chapel, to participating in student life, engaging in online classes, to sharing meals together. Thank you for the ways that their learning has shaped their faith. Thank you that this time has forged us into a unique community of royals. May we remember to serve each other with the strength that God provides, because Jesus truly is our King. May our graduates represent the hands and feet of Jesus as we serve the church and impact the world for Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, acclaimed faculty, beloved friends and family, and my fellow graduates, it is an honor to stand before you today as we come together to celebrate our achievements and the end of this chapter in our lives. During our time here at HIU, we have learned valuable lessons about life, faith, and ourselves. I would like to take a moment to share a lesson that has become increasingly important to me, which is never wish your time away. Throughout our journey at Hope, we have encountered many challenges and triumphs, both in our academic endeavors as well as in our personal lives. I myself know firsthand how tempting it is to get caught up in the idea of wanting to fast forward through difficult times or even desiring to extend moments of joy. However, in doing so, we run the risk of not fully appreciating the present. To my fellow graduates, I encourage you to appreciate each moment, whether it is a struggle or a celebration. Embrace the highs and lows, for they shape us into the individuals that we are meant to become. Remember that our time is finite, and it is indispensable to value every second of it. As we move forward, let us continue to grow in faith and turn to God for guidance and strength. Through prayer and reflection, we can find peace and wisdom in all seasons of our lives. Our experiences at HIU have provided us with an enduring foundation to face whatever comes next with courage and conviction. To those considering the pursuit of another degree, seize the opportunity and make the most of your time. Welcome the challenges and growth that come with learning and allow yourself to be transformed by the experience. Remember, every moment is a chance for you to grow. Through that, you can make an impact on Earth. To our friends, family, and faculty, thank you for your unwavering support throughout our time at Hope. Your guidance has been invaluable in helping us to reach this milestone. Personally, I would like to devote a special thank you to Dr. Knopf, who not only assisted me with identifying the ideal academic path, but who also provided me with meaningful encouragement over the past four years. I would also like to express my sincere thank you to the student body for trusting me with the honorable responsibility of serving Hobbes community as SGA president, alongside an amazing vice president, Dante Ferguson, and a motivated team. I feel a great deal of gratitude for the care and support that I have received in return, particularly from Stephen, Dr. Arnold, and peers along the way. It has been a blessing to see Hope's commu community grow closer together this past school year. Thank you all for contributing to this. Moreover, thank you to Coach Sanchez for making my final tennis season memorable. 
Very importantly, I'm beyond grateful for my family, who flowed all the way from Germany to be with me here today. Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Luca, I could certainly not have done this without you. Throughout the past four years, you have been the silent and invisible, but so immensely powerful behind me, support behind me. Thank you for your undying patience and limitless love. Even from 9,079 kilometers away, Last but not least, I would like to thank God for providing me with the necessary strength and perseverance which allowed me and all of us to come this far. Let us remember to be present in every moment and never wish our time away. Life is a gift and each second is an opportunity to learn, grow and serve a higher purpose. Cherish the time you have as we embark on this next chapter, let us strive to make the most of every moment. God bless you all. Danke schön. My name is Julissa McCaskill, and I'm graduating with my Bachelor's of Arts in Social Science with a concentration in Human Services. I've attended Hope International for four years. For those who don't know, I also played basketball here. And let me tell you, being a student athlete is hard work. But nonetheless, I am grateful for my experience. My journey at Hope has been a fulfilling one. I've grown so much in my faith, in the classroom, and as an adult. I've learned so much about God and how to further my relationship with him. I've been so blessed to have flourished out of my comfortable teenage shell and actually established lifelong friendships. While here, one thing that I've learned is that you can't go through college alone. There will be long nights of studying, hard exams, and times when you feel like you're at your wit's end. You will need that emotional and mental support from your closest confidants because I promise you, college will get difficult but that's life. As graduates, life is about to change drastically. And if there's any advice that I can give to you, it's to be open to change. What we've known to be a constant for the last few years of our young adult lives is about to change. We are about to enter a new sense of independence and venture out into the world and begin our careers. Our lives are just beginning. Don't lose your sense of wonder. Write your own story and paint your own picture. And if you don't like it, change it. That's the beauty in change, it never stops presenting itself. And sometimes change may feel uncomfortable, it may even feel pushy, but we have the opportunity to blossom from change and become as beautiful as the spring flowers that we see all around us. I want to take this time to thank God for giving me the opportunity to further my education. I want to thank my family who have supported me in the utmost unconditional way. I want to thank my boyfriend who has been my rock through all my trials and tribulations in the last four years, and my friends for always encouraging me to push myself. Thank you to my professors for answering every single question that I had in your class. It's what got me here today. And lastly, I wanna thank my teammates and coach who have never failed to make me laugh during every practice and every game. I love you all so much. Finally, graduates, I wanna leave you with this. Dream big, rely on your ambition, and take risks because where there is God, all things are possible and achievable. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I want to start by congratulating all the graduating students. Congratulations to all the students completing their undergraduate studies and my fellow students completing their graduate studies. Whatever your path was to hope, you put in the time and effort to get to this moment where you can be celebrated for your accomplishments. The graduation commencement ceremony is significant because it marks the completion of a goal that each of us set. 
Each student put in the hours of studying and hard work to get here, which is something to be very proud of. I want to thank Hope's faculty and staff for making the education experience at this university so special and welcoming. It is evident that each professor and faculty member wants the su students to succeed. I want to thank all the friends and family members in attendance today that are celebrating their graduates. Without your support, many of us would not be here accomplishing this goal. Some of us graduating might be first generation college graduates, which is fantastic. This is something that every family member should be proud of. I want to give a quick shout out to my grandfather who is in attendance today. He was in, enrolled in classes at a junior college and he was also on the track and field team. He dropped one class, was considered part time, and was then drafted for the Vietnam War. Um, he made sure to tell me to keep a full load of classes and I always did because I was deathly afraid of getting shipped off to drive a tank somewhere like him. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone here again today that are supporting these students. Your love and support helped us reach our goals. Hope has given us knowledge and experiences to succeed beyond college. I've learned so many lessons in the classroom and on the baseball field that I could translate into my everyday life. The thing I'm more, most grateful for in, is the Christ-centered learning environment that allowed me to explore my faith journey. It helps students cultivate critical thinking and allows for a deeper connection to Christ. For this, I'm forever grateful. I encourage, the, I encourage those of you who are thinking about continuing your education it is a valuable experience and asset that is worth it if you have the means and are thinking about going back to school. One of HIU's core values is to equip servant leaders in their chosen professions to change the world for Christ in contextually appropriate ways. Therefore, I urge each graduating student here to go, go out into whatever profession they choose and be servant leaders. Serve in a way that exemplifies Christ, loves others, and leads a life of significance. In John chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus spoke to the people and said, I'm the light of the world. Whoever follows me will wa never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Congratulations, Royals. Let's thank all three speakers one more time. Well done. Right now we have a little bit of a uh, interesting time out because this is going to be a surprise to these folks, but if I could have Casey Fust come to the stage, Jalise McCaskill, and Lizan Sibrek. So they did not know that this was coming. Uh, it will be no surprise to their family and friends that these are the three individuals who have won our most coveted academic prize, the McReynolds Academic Prize. It was, a, go ahead, that's something, we'll clap for that. And as a side note, Dr. Uh, Edgerton really wanted to read this to you, but he has uh, a condition that will not allow him to be here today. I'm not supposed to say what it is, but it rhymes with COVID, but I wasn't supposed to say. The McReynolds Academic Prize was established by Madeline McReynolds to honor her husband, Professor of Biblical Studies Emeritus, our beloved Dr. Paul McReynolds, to honor his many, many years of service here. Among Dr. McReynolds' own academic achievements was the publication of a widely known and well-used here, Greek-English Interlinear New Testament. This award honors significant academic achievement in the last half of your college degrees. And the fact that there are three people will tell you that these three tied with the exact same grade point average in the last eight semesters. I can't say what that grade point average is, <laughs> but it's really good. I am so pleased to present this award along with a generous check to Casey Fust. to Jalise McCaskill, and to our student body president, Lizanne Sebrek. I know Dr. Reynolds is, uh, I mean, Dr. Edgington, who was supposed to have done that presentation. Go ahead, y'all. Wait, there's a dance. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
Dr. Edgerton would have done a much more formal job than I did. I know he's at home right now watching live streaming going, oh my gosh, why didn't... He was supposed to read the script. It's my pleasure and privilege to introduce our commencement speaker to you today. I'm excited because our speaker, Megan Lemons, is our newest board member, just added to the Board of Trustees here at Hope. That's significant. That's significant because typically trustees at universities are uh, not young. And I'm very excited to have a new board member that is not old. So, you need to know she is a very gifted communicator. You're about to learn that. She's on the teaching staff at Willamette Christian Church in the Portland area, a, a significant um, God-honoring church. And she is uh, here with the support of her beloved family. Will you welcome with me our speaker, Megan Lemons. Good morning. I am grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be here back at HIU. And, and something about me is I am originally from Alaska. And I don't know if you know this about Alaska, but it is cold. It is like cold, cold. Like right now, it's springtime, it's sunny here, but it is still full winter there right now. And I remember moving to California to come to school at Hope, and it was warm and it was wonderful. You have all the good vibes. And then it was September. And September is supposed to be fall. And it was so hot. It was like hot, 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 over 100 degrees. And, and I'm used to a height temperature of like 40 degrees. So this was significant. I felt like I was going to melt into the concrete. And I wanted to leave here immediately. Uh, but I didn't. And I stayed the course. And through a series of classes and events and community and all of those wonderful things, I'm where I'm at today. And honestly, I'm just super excited. I'm excited about being here. I'm excited about what this day represents for you. I'm excited to be able to be a very small part in marking this moment in your journey. I'm excited about the work that God has done in your life over these last few years that have led you to this point today. And I'm excited and I'm expectant for how our world is going to be made different and more beautiful and more just because of your influence and your giftings. I graduated from HIU in 2014 and then again in 2017. And when they asked me to speak at graduation this year, I immediately had two thoughts. First, immediately I thought to myself, you have to share about the faithfulness of God. When it comes to purpose and calling, as I look at my own life and as I think of my fellow HIU grads and consider the last decades of our lives, I can't help but see them as days that have been deeply marked by the faithfulness of God. I have seen from my graduating classes so many ways that God has continued to remain faithful and continued the good work that he began in them from all the seeds planted and cultivated in their lives here at Hope. And you know, amidst trying years, it would be easy for us to focus this morning on how difficult these last years have been. And there is no doubt that they have been difficult years. But when I sit and I reflect amidst the hard, I have seen God working and moving in some profound and beautiful ways. Because of what God cultivated in graduates from HIU, we've seen communities changed. We've seen the gospel preach. We've seen folks in communities empowered and employed. We've seen uh, the faithful work of bringing health and wholeness to people's lives through conversations and offices and coffee shops. We've seen cross-cultural collaboration, nonprofits have been started, churches have been planted, businesses have been launched and are thriving from past graduates of HIU. And so as I look at this room with these graduates, I look forward to what awaits our world. I look forward with joyful expectation and anticipation because I have seen the big and the small ways that God has been so faithful to continue his work of restoring all things and all the world in so many ways, but in part through the lives of graduates from HIU. And I know that he will continue that work in you. So I knew I had to talk about 
the faithfulness of God. The second thing that came to mind when they asked me to speak at commencement was, wow, me, really? Because when I was sitting at my graduation, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do, but I actually had no concrete way of how I was going to get there, how long it was going to take, or what it was really going to look like. Really, you could just say I didn't know what I was doing next at all. I remember feeling so anxious because I was about to get married, which apparently costs money. And I was going to move out of the dorms, which apparently costs a lot of money. And I had no job. And on top of that, it seemed like all of my friends had these great church and, and ministry jobs that they were going to, and then there was me. And I was going to leave graduation day, and then I had nothing to fill in the blank with. I remember sitting at graduation stressed about getting a job, and for me, graduation w was an exciting and also terrifying day. I was excited because it's this moment when, when you're looking at each other and you're like, we really just did that. It's exciting and also terrifying because you're leaving the curated world that's been created and manicured by professors and student government and RAs to, to a world that's full of possibilities that you can't fully see. The freedom, the openness, the unknown, it's thrilling, electrifying even, but also nerve-wracking at the same time. It's both exciting and terrifying. It was that feeling of looking forward to something new and also like you just might throw up because there's so many changes ahead. Graduation day is kind of like the ticking at the top of a roller coaster with every tick tick, tick of the track, anticipation builds. It's thrilling because if you like roller coasters, you know that the fun is just about to start. You know the wind will blow in your face, and if you're anything like me, you're going to laugh like a maniac for the next three minutes. But it's also like a roller coaster, and that even though it is thrilling and exciting and possibly new, with every tick, 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 that you get to the top of that track, you're about to bend the corner to the big drop, your stomach starts to turn a little bit. Maybe you find yourself here today with a combination of emotions, elation and hesitancy, excitement and a little bit of nausea, with a plan and a goal and a desire for the wind to blow in your face as you face the world with laughter and joy and wonder. Maybe you're sitting here today and you're like, I've got it figured out. You've got the job. Maybe you are currently living in the faithfulness of God. There are many sitting here in the room and you look towards Monday when all the confetti is gone and the families left town or maybe you've left town and you see what's in store for you and you are going after it. To you, I say, praise God, but really, Stop and praise God. Stop for a moment and think about all of the things that it took you to get you where you are sitting in this room right now. Think back to your first day logging in online or stepping on campus. Think back to the roommates you've had, the late nights of writing papers that turned into early mornings of writing papers because you did not go to sleep. Think back to the formative lectures when you started questioning things and, and allowing your curiosity to drive you to deeper levels of learning and faith and formation. Think back to meetings with your professors, words from your coaches, internships, practicums. Think back to your practices, your won games, your lost games, and all of the million little things that had to perfectly add up to get you to this day being the person that you are right now. And thank God. Thank God that he got you through. Thank God because the series of events that had to get you to this place is wild and wonderful. Thank God that he used the wins and the losses from sports and academics to form you into the person that you are today. Thank God that he used those chance encounters to connect you with people who would open doors to your future. Thank God for the friends and the family that have prayed for you and supported you and cheered you on and are here cheering you on today. Pause for a moment. Look around the room and thank God.
And as you look ahead towards the path that you've forged to get you to your next destination, I encourage you to remember 1 Peter 4, 10 and 11 that we read. It says, each of you should use whatever gift you've received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength that God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. To God be the glory when you use your gifts. To God be the glory for getting you to where you are today. And as you look ahead, carrying all of the things that you have learned from this place, take it all and use whatever gift you've been given, whatever job opportunity has been allotted to you, whatever internship or adventure awaits you, use those to serve others as faithful stewards of the gifts that God has uniquely given to you. Because God has given each and every one of you here beautiful gifts and abilities and talents. He has graced some for teaching, some to be therapists, some to own businesses, some will start nonprofits or lead maybe in the public sector. Take all that you've learned here, take all of that and use it for the service of others and the glory to God. Now maybe you're here today and you're a little bit more like myself on graduation day. Not quite sure what's next. Maybe you're thinking, all of that sounds like so awesome for the people that have it figured out. I am so excited for them. I remember that feeling. With a mix of joy and jealousy, I was excited for my classmates to wake up Monday to the great adventure that awaited them. Now, maybe you've got a general idea, but it will probably change. And maybe you've got a job lined up, but it's just not quite the one you thought it would be. Maybe you're excited about leaving this place and continuing to the next chapter, but the pages of that chapter just feel so blank. You're feeling a little bit anxious this morning. Well, my encouragement to you is very similar. Pause for a moment and consider all of the ways that God has formed you here over these last several years, be it online or on campus. Consider the meetings, the class sessions, consider the connections you've made with people, consider the moments in class when you learn something new or about a new field of study and you started to feel energy and joy and vitality. Uh, Think about the conversations you had in the twilight hours, dreaming about what the world could look like and what you could contribute to it. And if you do not know quite what you're called to do, or really, better said, if you don't know exactly what that's going to look like, I invite you to to call out to God and and pray this prayer and ask this question. Uh, The prayer is based on a quote from Frederick Buechner, which says this. The prayer is this. God, continue to show me where my own deep gladness and the world's deep need might meet. Then, ask some questions. What makes you come alive? What gets you excited? What has you leaning in to know more? And then look outside of yourself. Look outside of yourself to the world. What are the needs of the world? And right there, at the cross section of your unique gifts and talents and the world's unique needs, that is the place to start. See, the craziest thing to me about the gospel and about God is that not only does he invite us into a relationship, not only does he offer us freedom and forgiveness and wholeness, but he asks us to partner with him as he works to restore all things and all people and all of the earth. When Jesus was on earth, he announced the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God in which one day God would come and restore all things and all people and all the earth and It is wild to me that he would then turn around and invite us, invite you to be a part of that great and beautiful work. Joining God in his work of making all things new, all people, all the earth, every system, every structure, put your calling in that context. Let that be the backdrop of Monday. Put the job you've landed, the internship 
you've got in that context. Place even the unknown future in that context. Because God has been writing a story that has been moving towards making all things brand new, and you get to be a part of that. You as a teacher get to be a part of creating a world where all things are restored. You as a coach and a therapist, an administrator, a pastor, a business person, get to partner with the God of the universe as he transforms the whole world back to wholeness, back to goodness, back to beauty. And I, for one, am excited. I'm excited about the future because I am confident that God has placed something beautiful within each and every one of you. We sit in this room around you with expectant hearts because we are confident that of what God has formed in you over these last years. When you use that to partner with him, he will create a more just and a more beautiful world that we can all be excited about. We are expectant and hopeful for the future because we can't wait to see the communities and lives that you impact and how our society will be different because of your unique giftings being leveraged for the good of the world, the service of others, and the glory to God. I personally cannot wait to see who you inspire because of what God has formed within you over the course of your time here at Hope. The world is so much better already because of this group of graduates. And the future is going to be so much more beautiful because of the ways that your influence partnered with the power of God at work in you will create a society and a world that we can all look forward to together. So to the class of 2023, thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for all of the ways that you are going to use your gifts for the service of others, the benefit of the world, and the glory to God. We are all better because of you. And I cannot wait to see what great things lie ahead as you consider God's faithfulness to you in the past and partner with him as he creates a more glorious, beautiful, and just future. Thank you. We have now reached the point in our commencement ceremony when we invite our graduates to come to the platform. We invite our graduates to come to the platform and receive the recognition and appropriate insignia of their academic achievement. So graduates earning associates and bachelor's degrees will receive their diploma cover. Some of the bachelor's degree students will also be receiving special honors cords for high academic achievement. These scholastic or academic honors are described within the program if you have some questions about that. Graduates who are earning master's degrees will be invested with their master's hood, the additional regalia, signifying that they have earned an advanced graduate degree. So, President Alexander, Chairman Mullins, I'm pleased to present to you the graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences. Graduates, please stand and approach the platform for the presentation of your degrees. Jose Andreas Cañada. Wyatt Alberoni. Isabella Rosemary Alcaraz.
Ketsia Chikuru Bisimwa. Caleb Alexander Bowers. Zachary Ronald Chiselli. Kyla Cormier. Jua Vitor de Oliveira. Alexis Corinne Eugene. Casey Lynn Fust. Madison Giese. Mia Lynn Height. Timmy Janae King. Jalice Renee McCaskill. Andrew John Mesaros. Oscar Ariel Sierra Aguirre. Elisa Velasquez. Kala Joy Anderson. Cairo Alexander Barba. Sasha Danielle Brown. Joseph Edward Byron. Aurora Koto. Miguel Angel Flores. Troy J. Flowers. Connor McNeils Gorse. Sofia Gutierrez. Milton Manuel Herrera. Hannah Renee Ireland. Ide Dione Martinez. Shelby Payne. Julia Elin Ramos. Alexandra Erica Rodriguez. Jaime Gael Uvalle. Jasmine Guadalupe Valdez. Amber Vasconcelos. Kailani Kepa Vineyard. Vanessa Josephine Brianne Collier.
President Alexander, may I present the graduates of the College of Business and Management. Graduates, please rise and approach the platform to receive your degrees. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree, Adrian Marcus Fernandez Abendano. Adrian Ty Andrews. Yazid Benzegra. Benchegra. Graduating magna cum laude, pi, beta, sigma, sigma, beta, delta, suri, aledis, camacho. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Rachel Capinha. Graduating cum laude, Fiorella Drew. Graduating magna cum laude, pi beta sigma, sigma beta delta, Christelle Hodge. Marco, Marco. Graduating cum laude, Marco Jokic. Christian Lara. Graduating cum laude, Reed Anthony Davis Lazardo. Graduating cum laude, pi beta sigma, Sarah Lynn Menescus. Christian Isaiah Martin. Zachary David McClellan. Graduating magna cum laude, Dakota Nearing. Ivan Ramos. Graduating summa cum laude, pi beta sigma, sigma beta delta, Lison Siebrecht. Kyle Boslavsky. Frida Coronado. Ian Michael Detmer. Cole Jernigan. Earning a Master of Business Administration, Jera, Jeremiah, excuse me, Miguel Craig. <laughs> Graduating Sigma Beta Delta, Seth Wyatt Hetker. Zechariah Salem Omar Hussein. Michael John Longenecker. Michael. 
Sergio Romero. Congratulations, graduates of the College of Business and Management. President Alexander, I am pleased to present the graduates of the College of Education. Graduates, please rise and approach the platform to receive your degrees. Earning a Bachelor of Arts degree, graduating cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Madison Renee Anderson. <laughs> graduating magna cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Sabrina Carido. Graduating cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Alicia Faith Corrigan. Samuel Galdemez Valle. Jillian Marie Garcia. Connor James Lopez. Graduating cum laude, earning Pi Beta Sigma, Mia Rose Manzano. Earning cum laude, Madison Maroney. Graduating, graduating magna cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Abigail Quinn Meza. <laughs> McKenna Ann O'Toole. Casey Patricia Adams. Alina Marie De La Torre. Graduating cum laude, Sarah Angela Godinez. Earning a Master of Education degree, Elizabeth Chenchevac. Kristen Yvette Dinkins. Christina Leah De Palma. Lauren Elizabeth Myershofer. Ryan Mendoza. Yeah. 
Lacey Diane Ontiveros. Sarah Mariah Rich Cavazos. Clarissa Tate. Sandra Tienda. Brittany Faye Nicole Turner. Allie Wilson. Earning a Master of Arts degree in Educational Administration, Ashley Duncan. Irene Helen Capetanos. Casey Lynn Cap. Madeline Renee Kiblinger. Priscilla Kim. Allison Lloyd. Sage Julia Ann Newman. Grant Schmitter. Chelsea Simpson. Michelle Lynn Stuber. Congratulations, graduates of the College of Education. President Alexander, may I present the graduates of Pacific Christian College of Ministry and Biblical Studies. Graduates, please rise and approach the platform to receive your degrees. Earning a Bachelor of Arts degree, Joyful Aria Blair Bush. Graduating cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Dante Ferguson. Woo! 
graduating magna cum laude Pi Beta Sigma, Dylan Ferguson. Graduating summa cum laude, Holly R. Sell. Hope Marie de la Rosa. <laughs> Philip Salazar. <laughs> Earning a master. Earning a Master of Arts degree, Eric Haldane Holmstrom. <laughs> Veronica Rondo. Earning a Master of Divinity, Ermelinda Garza Bond. Congratulations, graduates of Pacific Christian College of Ministry and Biblical Studies. President Alexander, may I present the graduates of the College of Psychology and Counseling? Graduates, please rise and approach the podium. Earning a Bachelor of Arts degree, graduating magna cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Psi Chi, Katerina Leah Ballsmith. <laughs> Megan Dangel Brazelton. Erica Burrell. <laughs> Haley Marie Dugan. <laughs> Jalen Jessica Hernandez. Jelani B. Horn. Robert Matei. Graduating cum laude, Marley Le Moana Bernadette Moala. Graduating cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Annabelle Christine Montoya. Maddie Myers.
Rianne Mariko Amori. Giovanni Passarelli. Brittany Renee Pryor. Liliana Elena Rodriguez. Graduating Psy Chi, Logan Montana Schneider. Aji Kumba Sek. Lina Ray Valencia. Graduating cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Vincent Kalika Villar. Graduating magna cum laude, Pi Beta Sigma, Psi Chi, Chessa Welch. Scott Patrick Dement. Annette Renee Nelson Tatum. Earning a Bachelor of Science degree, graduating cum laude, Rodney Julius Agura. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Rojas. Earning a Master of Arts degree in Marriage and Family Therapy, Jose Alvarez. <laughs> Graduating Delta Kappa, Evelyn Joyce Allison. Graduating Delta Kappa, Amy Catherine Barnett. Graduating Delta Kappa, Mario Batres. Kelly Ann Bentrot. Christopher Taylor Brown. DeAndre Allen Bryant. Graduating Delta Kappa, Donna Elizabeth Camacho.
graduating Delta Kappa, Andri Triamnif. Graduating Delta Kappa, Kara Elizabeth Kress. Graduating Delta Kappa, Kimberly Cruz Baena. Tiffany Elizabeth Cuevas. <laughs> Bryce Ellis Denham. Graduating Delta Kappa, Alyssa Duffield. <laughs> Graduating Delta Kappa, Patricia Gonzalez. Graduating Delta Kappa, Michael Walter Hartley. Yes, yes, <laughs> Stephanie Neyamaka Obialisi Hayes. Graduating Delta Kappa, Randy Michael Ignacio Aikaveda. <laughs> Graduating Delta Kappa, Michelle Deanne Johnson. Graduating Delta Kappa, Serena J. Lee. Graduating Delta Kappa, Sarah Lim. Christina Renee Martinez. Yenet Miranda Perez. Nicholas Alexander Nelson. <laughs> Graduating Delta Kappa, Krista Paro. Heidi Lynn Patchik. <laughs> Helen Rubio. <laughs> Andre.
Andrea Alexandra Sandoval. Graduating Delta Kappa, Alina Schuss. Graduating Delta Kappa, Marisa Segura Izquierdo. Graduating Delta Kappa, Cynthia Michaela Suarez. Graduating Delta Kappa, Erica Wynn Thurlow. Graduating Delta Kappa, Timothy Michael Tillemans. Alexis Renee Yanez. <laughs> Earning a Master of Science degree in counseling, Jessica Nicole Calvert. Tony S. Carlatello. Jacqueline N. Chavez. Mackenzie Corbett. Tiffany Marie Dart. Melinda Lorraine Gamboa. Kevin Edward Jones. Shondell R. Tanner. <laughs> Carrie Ann Yorick. Lynn Grauman. Congratulations, graduates of the College of Psychology and Counseling.
Graduates, please stand. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, completion of all your requirements, and the approval of the Board of Trustees of Hope International University, I now confer upon you the respective degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations, you may now move your tassels as a final symbol of your achievement. Okay, now for that, now for that thing we, we practiced, but we're gonna pretend like we didn't practice it. Ready, here we go. We are. Loyal. We are. Loyal. We are. Loyal. God bless you, have a seat. Before we all head to the party, wherever the party is going to be, I want to thank some other folks who are incredibly important, who supported you through all the hours, tears, papers, resubmission of papers, last minute deadlines, and heartburn. So uh, let's start with parents. If you are the parent of a graduate, would you please stand and we will thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If, if you are, I forgot this group last time, and let me tell you, I heard about it. If you're the spouse of a graduate, would you please stand? And now here's a really cool one because we have a mother-daughter who are graduating together today, but if you are the child or grandchild of a graduate, please rise. And finally, if you are family of any kind, you're a step, you're a, you, you, if you get invited to Thanksgiving or Christmas, you stand up. Would everyone please rise? Now will be the benediction, thank you. Thank you for standing and joining me in a word of prayer, but please reminder, afterwards, please remain standing and allow the graduates and the faculty to recess before you exit out either side of the building. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we are truly grateful for this day of celebration and accomplishment. We ask that your blessing will follow these graduates as they find new journeys to travel. May your hand guide them and direct them as they follow their chosen fields. May they walk these paths safely and wisely. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation. May they use their gifts wisely in service to others. May their hearts be filled with joy as they follow their passions. And may they live a life honoring you. We offer all this up to you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.